drag is the force that works to slow down the airplane and it is in the opposite direction as the thrust because thrust is pushing it forward drag slows it down so there's nothing good about drag and airplane designers always work really really hard to to minimize the effects of, of drag you, you cannot eliminate it but you can make it less and then the airplane will be more efficient and for the model airplanes that we fly there's really two major types of drag one of them is called parasitic drag which, which is really a combination of different things but there's three, three types that mostly make it up one is form drag which is drag because of the sh uh, shape of the airplane the other one is skin friction drag which is just drag as the air has to flow past the surface of the airplane and the last one is interference drag which is drag that's caused as the air has to flow past junctions in the, in the, in the airplane like this one has a vertical stabilizer so there's a junction at, at its base so those three types are the main types of drag that make up parasitic drag and parasitic drag is proportional to the square of the airspeed so if you double the airspeed, you get four times as much parasitic drag. So it's, it's basically the drag that keeps you from flying fast. And, and again, you know, there's a lot of sources for it, and it's, it's, you know, it takes a lot of work to minimize it, but it's usually worth it just because then you, uh, the whole airplane will be a lot more efficient. The other major source of drag, in air, in, especially in Malor airplanes, is called uh, induced drag. And in an airplane, you, you have a higher pressure on the bottom, you have a lower pressure on, on the top of the wing. But then at the, at the wing tip, the air comes together and it creates a vortex. And this, this vortex, you know, to get that air swirling the way it does, that takes energy. And that, that lost energy is really what we call induced drag. And I think they call it, they call it induced drag because it's, it's the drag created or induced in the process of creating lift on the wing. Okay? And it's also proportional to the speed of the, the airspeed of the airplane, but it is actually an inverse proportion. So the slower you go, the more induced drag you have. So, so when you're close to the stall, there's a lot of drag on the airplane, but it's not the parasitic drag, it's the induced drag, because the, you're having to create a lot of lift, and the lift creates a very strong vortex, and all of that slows you down. And of course, you know, the way to have a, a weaker a vortex is to have a longer wingspan so that's why gliders have very long wings because then they, their induced drag will be less now of course you know they, then gliders turn into other problems because then they, they, they might weigh more because they have to make the wings really strong because they're so, so long but you know that's why it's always a challenge to design an airplane and uh, till next time